Dwight Eisenhower one time remarked that understanding among peoples of the world is truly the passport to peace. And that's what this dinner is all about tonight, is understanding among, between peoples, cultures, countries, and if we appreciate each other, learn from each other, we truly are on the pathway to peace. And so I'm very pleased to be a part of this tonight and to serve as your MC. I don't know if I was the high bidder or the low bidder. More and more, Nebraska is becoming a global community with all of the gifts and challenges that are offered in our encounters with those who are not like us, whoever we happen to be. Without traveling across the world or even out of our own neighborhoods, we can get to know those who are deeply committed to an idea that is not our own. Learn to communicate with those whose first language is not the one that we battle to our parents. And we can begin to, more often, tolerate differences. We can begin to appreciate, indeed to cherish, how such diversity enriches all of our lives. But even tolerance is more than we have been able to offer to one another in many times and places. Every year we celebrate the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. We probably don't need to be reminded that his dream is still more of a vision than a reality in many places. And yet tonight, we have come together to honor some remarkable institutions and individuals who have committed themselves to making one part of the dream come true. They have dedicated their considerable gifts and energies to promoting peace, dialogue, education, considerable gifts to community service, diversity, loyalty, and understanding in this global community. They've established relationships that bridge the barriers which so often divide the human community. Then they have sought to introduce to the rest of us those whom they have come to know. In doing so, they have not only helped us to understand and appreciate the others, but to more deeply appreciate and live out the best of our own traditions. They have informed, inspired, challenged, corrected, amused, motivated, and even entertained us. And they have made our world and us better than we were before. These are the people that we're honoring tonight and our organizations. I am grateful this evening to be in the presence of greatness. So many of you have dedicated your lives to working for peace and understanding for love and justice and tolerance and freedom and beyond for the deep appreciation for the diversity of our human society. And so as we honor your efforts tonight and celebrate your accomplishments, know that in doing so we are also honoring your commitment, your work to reflect the light of the day onto the dark places of the human spirit. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for being with us tonight. And thank you for all that you have done.